Hey, 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 slackers. Welcome back. Welcome back. This is video lesson eight in college statistics. Um, I first want to make sure I hope all of you had a nice holiday, a nice weekend celebrating and gathering, doing your small gatherings within your home. Um, technically, right now, it's the day before Easter in this Caro house because I'm recording on a Saturday. Yes, I work on Saturdays now, um, <laughs> apparently. Um, so we're just getting started here. I am, I stopped to do a little bit of recording so I don't have to do it tomorrow on Easter Sunday. We're gonna have a feast here. <laughs> we're gonna have a feast here tomorrow with the four of us. I'm gonna start doing all the baking when I'm done doing this. Um, we've decorated and done we're all ready for, uh, all of our baskets are ready to go. We're just waiting for the Easter Bunny to show up. Wink, wink and do his thing. Um, and then probably like most of you, we're gonna have a Zoom meeting with my family and then a Zoom meeting with Jimmy's family. So we'll see how that goes. Um, <laughs> those are stories for another day. Um, so yeah, uh, statistically speaking, to continue on our real applications of what's really going on in the crazy world we live in, um, we are officially, they believe on the apex now that we are at day six with data and statistics um, where we are flattening the curve which is an excellent sign. Hopefully everybody followed the rules yesterday on Easter and did not get together and think, oh, everybody's better, it was good, we're doing good. Um, we've all been quarantined, we're not sick, it's okay. Cause that you will show immediately numbers will start to go up. So that's my biggest fear that I keep it discussing with my husband that I think people are gonna get together tomorrow for Easter. I think there's gonna be family gatherings, there's gonna be holidays. People are gonna think it's okay, let's do it. We've all been quarantined, we're not sick. And then people are gonna start, the numbers are gonna explode again. That's what I'm afraid of. Um, so I guess we'll see. We'll see how good everybody's being soon. Time will tell. Um, but right now we're on the apex. It's a good sign. But we're not in the clear, like I was just stating. So we have to uh, be patient and do the best we can to um, get through this. As you guys probably already heard, uh, New York City Department of Education on Saturday uh, closed schools for the rest of the year. So they are not opening schools back up till September. Um, I think there's a big misunderstanding because now there's a whole scuttlebutt on all kinds of social media and news and whatever saying, oh, New York State schools are closed. And that's not true. The NYC DOE, NYC DOE, the New York City Department of Education is their own separate entity, always has been. I think they think they're special than us, more special than us. Um, we have the New York State Department of Ed, the NYS Department of Education, and then you have the NYC Department of Education. They follow all their own rules for tenure, for teachers, for hiring, for firing, for students, for everything. Um, they still have to do the basics for graduation requirements and stuff, but they really follow their own thing. Um, so just because they close schools for the rest of the year doesn't mean we're going to. I'm trying to be hopeful here. Um, my husband, I think, is even shocked. He's like, really? Like, you still think you're going to go back? And I'm like, I really just want to go back. Is that weird? I enjoy being home with my kids. It's so nice. But do you see how I'm teaching right now? Do you hear this in the background? Um, my poor cow class, I did 45 minutes of anti-derivatives, which is really hard stuff. And my two-year-old is crying through most of it. Um, it's, it's a challenge. This is a challenge to do things this way. I think it's a challenge for you guys to learn it this way. And I want to see, especially my seniors, be able to enjoy the things they've worked all their educational career towards, um, you know, prom, graduation, senior trip. My heart's just breaking for all of you. So um, I'm fingers crossed, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. I'm hopeful. I don't think it'll happen till the end of May, um, if we do. Um, but let's see. Let's see where we go with it. All right, guys. I don't know anything more than you and you now, unfortunately. And you know I'm always honest with you guys. Now I'm an open book. I'm just trying to give it to you straight. Um, I'm learning it as you guys learn it. And uh, I try to discuss that here with you guys as much as I can. All right? All right, so back to math. Dun, dun, dun. Um, we have box plots. I feel like you guys are taking a sigh of relief. Every time you send me a copy of your work, you're like, oh, my God, this is great. Like, it's easy. I get it. Um, seems like you're pumping out answers left and right. So this is where we're at. I would normally spend, Olivia, please, I'm competing with you, okay? Thank you. Um, you want to play like that? Go play in your room, baby girl. Not right next to me. I'm trying to do it. All right. So anyway, um, I would do this in a week. We would do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, review Thursday, quiz Friday. So, I mean, the only thing that's dragging this out is the virtual end of this, the digital classroom end. 
So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go over the homeworks just to make sure everybody understands what's going on because we would look at the homework answers and whatnot in class. And um, the assignment attached with lesson eight is a review sheet. So we're gonna kind of do something similar that we did the week before last. So the homework that goes with lesson eight is a review sheet for your graded assignment, your quiz. Um, you're gonna work on the review sheet. You're gonna do the questions. We'll go over it in video lesson nine, which I will post Wednesday. And then the assignment attached with video lesson nine will be graded. It is a quiz. It will be the first grade of fourth quarter, okay? So the video, the quiz with video lesson nine will be the first grade for fourth quarter because technically the quarter ends April 17th. That's when that assignment will be due. I'm not gonna hold you accountable for that in case you're sick or you have something going on like coronavirus, <laughs> um, not to laugh at that, but it's the truth. I will not make that first assignment that's due the day of the last day of the quarter be part of quarter three. It will be a quarter four grade. Okay, darlings. All right, so let's go through the homeworks. 11, 12, 15, and 16. So 11, we have construct a box plot for the following data, comment on the shape. All right, so this is the number of games pitched by Major League Baseball's earned run averages. So your ERAs for the past few years, it is real data. Excuse me, but it is extremely old data. So here we go, I'm gonna enter them in. Hopefully you guys are doing okay with Meta Calculator. I haven't heard anybody complaining about it. I thought it was virtually easy. I think it's even easier to use than this thing is. Okay, so we go stat calc, one for fun. I'm using L1, mine has L2 in it, so I'm gonna go second one, enter. And what do I have to copy down? The what number summary? The five number summary, the min, Q1, the mid, Q3, and the max. So here we go. So this is number 11. And over here, I'm gonna write the min, Q1, the mid, Q3, and the max. So we have 27 and 29 and 30.5. 34 and oh yeah this was a weird one the q3 and the max are the same okay so here we go i set up my number line and i'm going from 27 to 34 so i think i'm just going to count by ones honestly i'll start at 26 27 28 29 30 1 2 3 all right i went a little too far but that's okay you could put every number in if you want or you could not, it's totally up to you. I just have to have some numbers there so I know what you're counting by. Okay, so a box around Q1 and Q3, so 29 to 34. In this case, I'm gonna label it Q3 and Q1 and a line down the middle for the mid, 30.5. And then I have my whiskers, my you know, lines, my horizontal lines that connect to the min and the max. So this goes out to 27. And this is also my max. So I'm just going to put max next to it. So it looks weird because it doesn't have a right line, but there it is. So we're going to write the shape of this distribution is, what do you want to say? Symmetrical, positively skewed, or negatively skewed? That's right, it's positively skewed because the median is to the left of the center. Now remember my trick for remembering that is there's more space to the right of the median. Which numbers are to the right of zero on the number line? Positive numbers. Now, if you use the line thing, how would you interpret that with the lines? This is why I don't use the line one, because this happens more than you think. Um, there is no right line, so you can't really use the line in this one. So be careful. All right, 12, excuse me, innings pitched. So let's enter the numbers in for number 12. Again, this was the homework for video lesson six, I believe. Constant cartoons in my life. Guys, can I tell you? 
I'm going cartoon knocking butts. I really am. And I feel like a stay at home mom, like people call me and I like crave adult attention. And I love being home with my children, but my God. Oh, do I miss being at work? All right, here we go. So I go stat, calc, one for fun. My L1 is already entered. And I scroll all the way down for my five number summary. Yes, you have to write it. All right, so here we go. I have 14, 115. 192, 215.5, and 238. Now, some of you seem to be confused about certain things, and I can tell some of you are not watching the videos. How can I tell? Because it's a YouTube channel, so I get views. So if I have about 60 college statistics students and only 25 views on a video, I know a lot of you are submitting assignments without doing any of the video watching. You know, that's like not going to class and handing in homeworks, just doing math blindly. So um, you might want to check that out. I just referenced Meta Calculator. Um, so again, if you go to metacalculator.com and you scroll down and click on Statistics Calculator, and then the next screen is you enter in the numbers one by one, scroll down, you click Get Statistics, and it gives you everything you need, okay? All right, so here we go. It's not my number line now. I want to go from 14. No, not 14. Whoa, do you know what I just did? All my numbers are off. I started with the N equals. Oh, my Lord. 115. 192. Sorry about that, guys. 215.5. 238. To 264. I started with the calculator at n equals 14. I did. I want to go from 115 to 264. So I'm going to start at 100 and I'm going to count by 50s. Again, I gave myself some extra space. It's okay. So I put a box around Q1 and Q3. So 192 to 238. Sweet little box. And then the median is 215.5. And then I go out to 115 and up to 264. Okay, so some of you might say that's symmetrical. I would kind of accept that. I kind of see it as slightly positively skewed, but okay. So we'll say the shape, I would accept either or on this one, of this distribution is symmetrical since the median is near the center of the box. How are we doing, darlings? We're okay so far? The beautiful thing is I don't have to worry about going too fast because you guys can stop the video and pause it and do what you gotta do. All right, let's talk about 15 and 16. Tornadoes in 2005. All right. Tornadoes in 2005. All right, so we have, I'm gonna do my min, Q1, my med, sorry, I got a little excited there, Q3 and the max. I'm going to enter it in. Number of tornadoes recorded each month in the one year. It's crazy, right? Stat, edit, clear to disappear. Let me do 33, 10, 62, 132, 123, 316, 138, 123, 133, 18, 150, and 26. There they are. All right, so I go stat, calc, one for fun. And I scroll all the way down for my five number summary and I get 10, 29.5, 123, 135.5, and 316. So actually I'm gonna go from 10 to 316. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna count by 50s again, honestly. 
So zero, 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, and 350. I'm gonna put a box around Q1 and Q3. And then a line down the middle for the median. Is this our first negatively skewed problem? I can't remember. And then the min is 10. And the max is 316 all the way up here. So it's funny because if you use the lines on this one, you would say it's positively skewed because the right line's bigger. But if you use the median, you're going to say it's negatively skewed. Okay. The shape of this distribution. I can make you grilled cheese. I can make you. Is I'm going to say negatively skewed. Since hyophilia, the median is to the right. Hi, baby. You could sit with me of the center of the box. Weirdo. Why are you wearing your Elsa PJs over your clothes? Is that what that fit was about a half an hour ago? All right, and last but not least, a double box plot. <clears throat> so we can compare and contrast. So I'm actually going to flip this over. Wait, wait, wait. Mommy needs these numbers. Wait, 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 wait. Careful, please. Careful, please. Mommy needs it really quick. So for 16... We're gonna do stat edit. I'm gonna cheat. You guys would have to go one by one in minute calculator. Hi, Hi baby. Hi. I'm getting hugs right now. I was playing room again. You were. What were you playing in the room? I'm playing room with like phone names. Why don't you take this pass for Addy around so I can hear you talk? What were you playing in your room? I'm playing room with daddy. You're playing in the room with daddy. Does that mean the room's a mess? Did you make a mess? Yeah. Who's cleaning up that mess? Is Ophelia cleaning it up? I wish I could see the Easter Bunny. All right, there's the United States. Now I'm going to put in South America. These are size of dams. That's momming right there. You see me multitasking? I'm teaching you guys while my two-year-old was crawling on me. Lord knows where my husband is. Who said he would watch them while I did this? Okay, so I'm gonna do them one at a time. Thank you, baby. And I have to label on my paper what I'm doing, which which set of data. This is U.S. and this is South America. I'm gonna put my five number summary for each of them. So for the U.S. stat. Calc, one for fun. I'm gonna do L1 was my US. And I scroll all the way down for my five number summary. So here we go. The min, Q1, the med, Q3, and the max. So for the United States, we have 57, I'm sorry, 50,000 for the men. Hey, pretty girl. And then we have 57,642. And then I have 72,100. And 85,004. And 125,628. All right, for South America, stat, calc, one for fun, but now I'm gonna change it to L2. Scroll all the way down, and I get 46, 563, and then 56, 242, and 103, 311, 539. All right, so I'm gonna give myself some room because I'm gonna draw two of these. 
Now, you gotta look at both mins. So who's smaller? South America, 46,000. And both maxes, 311,000. So I'm gonna count by 50,000s. Zero, 50,000. Zero, 50,000. 100,000. 150,000. 200,000. 250,000. 300,000. And last but not least over here, I'm gonna squeeze in 350,000. I'm gonna do the US on top. So Q1 is 57,000, pretty damn close to 50,000. And Q3 is 85,000. And the median 72,000, which is pretty close to Q3. The min goes straight to 50, and the max goes to 125. So there it is for the United States. All right, now let's do South America. I'm gonna put that down here a little bit. Q1 is 56,000, pretty close to 50. And then it goes up to 274. And the line down the middle is 103. Okay. And then the min is 46,000. And the max is 311. Crazy when you see visually how different they are, right? So compare and contrast, let's talk about the shape of each distribution first. So the, so the shape of the distribution for the U.S. is, I'm going to say negatively skewed. Since the median is to the right of the center of the box. Okay, now let's do the other one. The shape of the distribution for South America is, I'm gonna say positively skewed since the median is to the left of the center of the box. And then let's compare and contrast. Who's more variable? Who's more spread out? Definitely South America. So the data is more variable or spread out in South America than that of the US, just because it has a wider range of numbers, you can write because it has a larger range. If you do max minus min, it's spanned over like 200,000 dams, where this one's spread between like 75,000. Okay, so the range is bigger, max, minus, min. All right, that's it, darlings. So your review sheet is just two questions. Basically, it is, I'll flip over to it here. I wanna say page 175, if I remember correctly. Right here, you're gonna do page 175, and I think it's 21 and 22. Okay, you're gonna do a box plot, talk about the shape of the data, and then 22, a double box plot for before and after, compare and contrast. So discuss the shape of before, the shape of after, and then say something comparing or contrasting it. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon. The next video, video lesson eight, I'm sorry, video lesson nine, I will go over these two problems. It is your review and attached to that will be the quiz. All right, my darlings, take care, brush your hair.